This is KVU Sports with Brian Mays. The Longhorns had swept the Aggies in four of the last five seasons. Another sweep this year in Texas would win the Big 12 title all by themselves. An Aggie win tonight, however, would mean a co-championship for these two rivals. Game three at the dish, and we had ourselves a pitcher's duel in game three tonight. Top of the fourth, Aggies with a man on third. Sam Stafford gets the strikeout. Stafford, five strikeouts and five innings of work. Longhorns, not much offense either, thanks to AM pitcher Ross Stripling. Gets Tant Shepard to end the sixth. Stripling tossed a complete game four hitter. Aggies with a man on third in the eighth. Hobie Milner in on the hill, and he gets the strikeout to end that threat. But AM would threaten again in the ninth. They load him up for Andrew Colazzo, and Colazzo delivers. A colossal shot to center field scores all three runs. The only offense AM would get, and it's all they would need. Aggies salvage game three. They win three to nothing to earn a share of the Big 12 regular season championship. Horns will be the top seed in the Big 12 tournament, which begins on Wednesday. The Longhorn softball team hoping to play just one game at the regional tournament today, but the Cougars from Houston had other ideas. Texas met Houston in the winner's bracket game earlier this afternoon. Cougars break a scoreless tie in the first inning. Melissa Gregson, slow roller the third, just fast enough, however, to get the run home. Katie Beth Sherman scores 1-0 Houston, and thanks to their stellar pitching staff, it's all they would need today. Amanda Crabtree was great in relief, and Houston advances to the winner's bracket, actually to the championship round. They beat Texas 1-0. Meant Texas was back on the field tonight. And look at this. The Longhorns' season comes to an end. They got three runs in the bottom of the seventh, but the comeback rally comes up short. Lafayette wins at 5-3, so it'll be Lafayette and Houston in the championship series. All Houston needs is one victory. Lafayette's got to beat them twice. They'll play game one of that championship round at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Rangers sluggers Josh Hamilton and Nelson Cruz back at the Dell Diamond tonight. They combined to go four for eight last night. More fireworks from these two Rangers tonight. Josh Hamilton, um, I think he's healthy. A bomb three-run homer here to give Round Rock the lead. Cruz must have been jealous of that. Watch the home run Cruz hits later in the ball game to the deepest part of the park. A home run for him. They will be back with the big club soon. Express lead this one right now in the eighth seven. To four. They'll play again tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Rangers back in Philadelphia. Cliff Lee, the former Ranger on the hill, got all the support he would need in the bottom of the second. Inning off the bat of Ryan Howard. A solo homer makes it 1-0. It's all Cliff Lee would need. He was, well, Cliff Lee. Eight innings, six hits, zero runs, and Cliff struck out 10 of his former teammates. Phillies take this one by the final of two zip Astros in Toronto. This was a tale of two games. Astros were great early thanks to Chris Johnson drove in three runs. Astros led this thing four to nothing. But then the second half of the game arrived and that half was dominated by Jose Batista. A pair of home runs a three run shot in the solo blast drove in four and Toronto comes back to beat Houston seven to five. Oklahoma City took game two of the Western Conference Finals on the Mavericks home floor. Dallas trying to return the fa a favor in Oklahoma City tonight. The favor flavor right now Mavericks the flavor of choice. They lead it by a dozen late in the fourth. They've led the entire way. Game four will be back in Oklahoma City on Monday. Second leg of the Triple Crown at the Preakness today. It's the highlight of the night down the stretch. Kentucky Derby winner Animal Kingdom on the outside closing fast but runs out of room. Shackleford wins the second leg of the Triple Crown. Animal Kingdom finishes second so there will be no Triple Crown winner this year. Time for a break. Golf when we get back. The Texas men's golf team finished fifth at the West Regional Tournament in California today. Good enough to qualify the Horns for the NCAA Championships in Oklahoma coming up on May the 31st. Third round at the Colonial in Fort Worth. Bad day for David Toms after back-to-back -to -back 62s. Toms shot 74 today. Stands at 12 under in his seven-shot lead. Gone. Charlie Wee finished with a 66 in round three. He's 13 under and he is the new leader. One shot up on Tom's final round is in Fort Worth tomorrow. Qualifying for the Indianapolis 500 at the Brickyard today. Alex Tagliani, the first Canadian driver to ever win the pole. His 
four lap average of 227 miles an hour. Good enough for the pole position. He'll start first next weekend. Scott Dixon and Oriel Sevilla will also start on